Hello beautiful people, my name is Chiamaka Ahodu. If this is your first time coming across my channel, thank you so much for tuning in. If you're a returning subscriber, please note that I am truly grateful and happy to have you here. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing some culture shocks I experienced when I moved to Canada. So without yapping too much, let's get right into the video. The first culture shock I experienced in Canada is the weather. The weather in Canada is very extreme. When it's cold, it's really cold. When it's hot, it's really hot. Hamatan in Nigeria is nothing compared to the cold in Canada. I remember coming towards the end of summer, but then again, it was the first week I landed in Canada that I was able to wear something similar to what I'm currently putting on now, and I saw sun. After that week, I didn't even understand what was happening. It began raining, it, be, it started getting cloudy, and then all of a sudden, from nowhere, 5 p.m. in the evening, it's dark. Why? Even while shooting this video currently now, it's snowing. It's been snowing for hours, and your African girl is just thinking to herself like, wow, this is a shocker. So when you're moving to Canada, just know that the weather here is very different from wherever you're coming from. That's if it's an African country. The next shocker I experienced in Canada is the DIY factor. Do it yourself. How will I buy a bed frame, for example? Now, when I receive the package, I am seeing steps on how to mount the bed frame myself. In Nigeria, the carpenter will make it the furniture for you. We follow you to his house with his boy boy or Moishe, anyone. They will share a pomo and they will help you set up your bed frame or whatever furniture he made for you. But here, you have to do it yourself. Of course, there are people you could call to set it up for you, but they will charge you a ridiculous amount for something that will take you probably a few minutes an hour or so to do till now it still shocked me like but then again rather than being unhappy about the situation it has taught me how to do a whole lot of things myself prepare to do many things yourself in canada next culture shock i experienced is the currency and i'm talking about currency in terms of coins for example, in Canada now, the, the currency, when you want to receive a polybar amount, it starts from $5. So that's $5, $10, $20, $50, and $100. That's five. Anything less than $5 comes in form of coins. So you have coin in form of a dollar, two dollars, 25 cents, 50 cents, and thereabout. When I go to purchase something, for example, now, and I probably give them, say, $20, and I purchase something of $8, they'll give me $10 and also a few coins. Till today, I don't even understand the coins, like different sizes, different colors, different everything. But it was a shocker for me because the country where I came from, we just used uh, Naira. That's the Naira notes. Be prepared to have your pulse jiggle <laughs> yes another shocker i experienced here is the different cultures guys canada is blessed and rich with different cultures and different people from different walks of life life rather Canada is really blessed with a population of different races they are black people they are white people they are caucasian people name your peak you will find in canada people from ethiopia people from uganda people from zimbabwe people from romania people from every culture or walk of life that you can think of and that is mind-blowing and i think it's really really good so it's a country where you will never be the only one from your country you will always see someone from your country and different countries as well so it's good in the aspect of you can learn from people of different cultures and you can also impact the knowledge about your culture to them as well it's really a shocker to me so be prepared when you're coming because your neighbor 
may just be from India or from Pakistan or from Kenya, Ghana, anywhere. Another culture are the rules and regulations. The other day I crossed the road and one policeman followed me and he told me that, oh, I should have crossed the road like that. Then he explained to me how I should have crossed the road instead, which is good. So if you are the kind of person that does not like to follow rules and regulations, <laughs> think twice, think well, plan ahead before coming to Canada. Because even in terms of driving, for example, since I've been here, I've not heard anyone honk that horn you know the pee we used to hear in nigeria i haven't heard it here i really haven't heard it here because most people if not everybody is doing the right thing they know when to drive they know when to stop driving they know when to wait they know when to allow a pedestrian cross and i think it's amazing it makes the road clearer easier it makes it even easy for you coming into the country to drive well there's peace of mind and guys it's just amazing the rules and regulations you just have to follow them to be on the safe side and it's just what's good okay and it's really a shocker to me that they have this many rules and regulations and unlike the country where i come from where they are forcing you to follow rules and regulations here no one is forcing anybody you do the right thing if you don't do the right thing then <laughs> oh is your case another culture shock i experienced here in canada is artisans and their prices now first of all before for example say you want to get your nails done you have to book an appointment in canada they love booking appointment you want to get your teeth checked you book an appointment you want to get your hair done you book an appointment and you have to keep to the appointment you can't just go there late if anything comes up it's good you call ahead of time rebook reschedule but at least inform them okay so you have to book an appointment for everything you do in canada then we now go back to the answers and their prices ridiculous truth is you can't blame or judge them because that's their area of specification so unlike nigeria where you can just be like oh say for example now you're locked out of your house for example you could just go out call your welder to come help you jack up your door or something and probably just tip him 500 1000 as the spirit pleases but here you can't do that you book an appointment when you book an appointment they give you the price you probably make a down payment before they turn up at your place and do whatever they're meant to do and even after they're done doing it you have to tip you have to tip them so it's a shocker that i'm going to need your assistance i'm gonna call you book an appointment make down payments you will come you do what you're supposed to do i will balance you then i will still tip you on top of it i'm in shock this one on my list is smoke detector system the other day i was a frying ass that's goat meat and next time i ah i was wondering what happened what's going on the everywhere was just smoky and all then that's when i saw my smoke detector just beeping and i knew that oh okay okay the heat is the heat is playing so i had to open up the windows open up the doors let some air in and all but coming from nigeria and where you and the funny thing is the assault you don't know fry very well do not fry entire entire inside the door and it's already doing pam 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 even now entire it's what we happen with the building come down i'm just kidding but it's just a shocker for me because in nigeria we just fry i mean some houses have the smoke detector and all i believe but then again we regular people we just fry our meat fry our chicken fry for hours and nothing is bp anything but yeah you just have to be careful because once the smoke detector start going off, say for example you live in an apartment, your neighbor could call the police and they would call the firefighters and try to quench the fire that is not going on. It's just a smoke detector that is going off. So those are a few culture shocks that I have experienced in Canada. Like I said, there are a whole lot more, but these are the ones I can remember off the top of my 
head if you've moved from your country to another country please comment in the comment section below how do you deal with the culture shock what are the culture shocks you have experienced that made you feel like ah where i'm coming from it's not like this so so that we can all learn together and grow together okay so please don't forget to subscribe like the video leave a comment in the comment section below and also feel free to give me suggestions on video topics you would like me to talk about in the meantime thank you so much for tuning in don't forget to share this video bye beautiful people